this is DJ EZC420 on PlayStation 4 playing Grand Theft Auto 5. I am a legitimate level 1366 as of the moment. This video series is to throw some of my knowledge that I've learned in the past years playing GTA to some of the more new players, maybe even some of the people that have been here for a long time, just struggle with stuff. Now that being said, I use no glitches, no cheats, no hacks. I am not a cheater. 100% legit. And it's easy to make money on GTA. Just look around in my office. I've made plenty. You just gotta know the easy ways to do stuff. Some people struggle at a lot of different things. Adversary modes, heists. This series is gonna look at a whole bunch of the heists. Setups, finales, safe routes for getaways, smart ways to do things so first off before you do any heist always load up on snacks Hello, snacks is how you replenish your health and without health you die so make sure your snacks are full next up clothing yes you want certain clothes because in most of the heists and heist setups you can wear player saved outfits more on that in a minute Let me know if you so what you want is the heavy heist combat you can buy the entire outfit from the girl at the counter or you can buy just the top now what you really want is just the top but most people go for the whole outfit just Did to you complete find your it size? you want heavy heist combat it doesn't matter which one you get i don't think there's any difference whatsoever now they only work in heist but boy do they work might make you a little slower but you're damn near bulletproof. You can take a shotgun blast point blank range. And in most cases, that'll make the difference between failing a heist and successfully ending the heist. So, once you got that, then there's one other thing. Make sure you got ammo. Make sure you got your explosives. Make sure you got whatever you might need, whatever toys you might need for the mission. Now there's lots of nice guns. People have different preferences. I always like to make sure I got all the originals loaded up. Of course, I always go into a heist using my Mark II weapons mostly, but just to make sure you got some missile launchers, because you never know when that oh, comes in that handy. Take down a moose. Maybe a grenade, grenade launcher. Definitely some sniper rifle. And always assault shotgun. But I'm always loaded up. I always got plenty of ammo, so I don't need anything. Then, your last thing, before you do any heist, make sure the host puts it on heist clothing, player saved outfits. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through the easy way of doing Series A setup bikes. Now, we ran into a random person who apparently just likes to blow up everybody's cars. I thought she was going to be one of those kind of people that purposely fails the mission but no she just likes to blow up cars so one thing you gotta remember this is a silenced mission the whole reason you're going to Trevor's is to go into his garage and grab silenced weapons of course I own a whole bunch already and I don't really need them see there she goes again blowing up cars but everybody should go in here and grab silencers in case they don't have any the really weird thing is when I went to look up this person's profile I have already blocked them she was absolutely no use and just blew up people's vehicles. So there's the name. This is on PlayStation 4, by the way. So uh, if you're doing a heist and you run into this person, you might want somebody else. She was absolutely no help and just blew up everybody's cars. But she did not fail the mission for us. So, you know, there's always that plus. Anyways, we uh, wait for the rest of the team to get up here course call my Moore's Mutual Insurance and get back my car that she had to blow up. She must just find it Morse really Mutual. funny. How can I be of service? I'll do my best. Even though it's nothing more than an inconvenience, I can simply call her back. So there's the rest of the team. They're running in to grab some ammo. And guess what she does? Blows up another car. Strangely enough, she didn't blow up both of them. She's trying, though. 
he's like, no, you're not getting in my car. I'm like, well, he can get in, but uh, this blows up cars, you can walk. Not to say it's a really far walk. the host of this and tell him uh, you know I don't, I don't think she's gonna be much help in fact I was thinking she was gonna fail the mission you know throw one of those grenades when we were trying to be silent but fortunately she did not do that and we were able to pass this mission she just was no help so you get to their trailer park you want a silenced weapon I prefer my AP pistol I always have the AP pistol with a silencer and the basic sniper rifle with a silencer. Really the only two that I use silencers on, otherwise it just messes up with your accuracy. But for these silent missions like this, those are the two you're really going to need. One for far away, one for up close. Now I push in my left stick to go into stealth mode. You don't want them hearing you, even walking through some tall grass can alert somebody. You can sort of run in stealth mode by holding down X. Nice little headshot. And you always want to make sure that you reload your clip. You don't want to run out of ammo when you're trying to shoot multiple people. Take your time with this mission. Let them get in the right position so you can take them out. If you do miss, start shooting again. Quickly. Now we've already spotted the vans. They're right over here. I strongly suggest all players get in a van. Do not take a motorcycle. Motorcycles are a death trap. And on a setup like this, you don't want to risk a death and having to restart, do you? So the other guy's got the van. Meanwhile, that girl's just chilling on the boat, doing nothing. But I guess nothing is better than failing on purpose. Now you might want to pay attention to the route I'm going to take. They coming after you? Damn it! Get to the warehouse and hope you lose them on the way. And be careful of the vans. The dolls you got back there are fragile. Once again, I do not follow the yellow line. If you follow the yellow line, that's where the majority of the guys spawn. More chances of getting shot, failing the mission. Going this way, if both vans are going this way, you will encounter some resistance. Now, if we were all split up, it would be spawning in even less because it only spawns in so many bad guys. Basically what I'm doing is making a beeline right for the highway. I want to make sure you do not run into those gas tanks. Another tip on this mission, do not use sticky bombs. For one, they can get shot out of your hand and you blow up. Two, you throw them the wrong way or time them the wrong way and you blow yourself up. There's no reason for any kind of explosives. And I know Trevor said those dolls are fragile, but trust me, you can do jumps and all that kind of stuff and it's not going to affect anything. Now, since we're on the highway, we just keep an eye out for any single tail light, any motorcycles whatsoever. Of course, the more you shoot, the more you're going to freak out the traffic around you. Yeah, they might run into you. Which is just annoying.
right behind us. She's still just sitting there. But at least she didn't die. Okay, up here it wants you to follow the L line and go up and over the overpass and all that kind of stuff. I just cut into the other side of traffic. And if you're on a time limit and you're running out of time, this can help. Going right down here. There's a very similar path on the weed setup. But you also have to drop off vehicles at this warehouse. So there we go. Past yet another mission. Showed you guys some quick routes, some tips, and I hope it helps. Pass along this knowledge, and maybe the next time you go in iced, you'll pass it the first time and not have to do a restart. This has been DJ Easy C420. Take it easy. See you in Los Santos. Hey, the lost, right? I mean, those guys don't think we had anything to do with this. I mean, we're neighbors, right? See, I mean, I don't shit on my doorstep unless Trevor tells me to, but that was only once. But what I'm trying to say is that I only rarely shit on doorsteps. And when I do, I don't want the doorstep owners finding out. Ha ha ha! Mollus. Okay. It's too late to save my marriage, but, you know, I got it.